Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video I wanted to talk about the exploit that happened last week. Now I probably should have made this video a few days ago however I was really busy with finals and stuff but now that that's over I will be uploading a lot more frequently and also I'll be planning some live streams in the very near future where I'll give you guys more details about how the giveaways and the live streams are all going to work. I'm also going to be launching a few campaigns so stay tuned for all of that but right now let's talk about the exploit because it really is a big issue when it comes to the economy which is what my channel is all based around and there are some really important topics to talk about. So firstly, let's talk about the exploit itself for those of you who aren't aware of what exactly happened. So right now there's a, a bug happening with the companion gift vendor on the fleet and basically this vendor is offering three rank 5 companion gifts at a very reduced cost, 960 credits. Now Bioware has confirmed that using this companion gift is not an exploit so you can actually get your companions to rank 50 influence very very easily and very very affordably. Now that in itself is not an exploit but before that happened the uh, companion gift vendor was actually giving those gifts absolutely for free and you could sell them right back to the vendor for an insane amount of credits. So you could just buy up a stack of 10,000 of these rank 5 companion gifts for no credit cost, sell it back to the vendor for 10 million credits. Now I'm not sure how long that exploit was actually happening for. It could have only been for a few hours, but really that's all it took because the exploiters who used this were able to generate 10 million credits in a few seconds. And they could keep doing that for hours until it was eventually patched by Bioware. And it was eventually patched very quickly. However, the exploiters are still able to make, you know, 50, 60, 70 billion credits, probably around that range. I mean, think about it. They're earning 10 million credits every few seconds seconds and to make matters even worse Bioware did end up patching the Imperial Fleet vendor but the Droman Cost vendor who sells the same companion gifts was still bugged so some of the exporters were able to just go to Droman Cost and use that for a few more hours before that was eventually patched as well. Now I wasn't there for during this time so I'm not sure exactly what the time period was but the bottom line was the you know billions of credits were now put into the hands of a, f of a kind of a small number of exploiters and what those exploiters did is rather than sitting on you know that that exorbitant amount of credits which isn't a smart thing to do because Bioware can easily track those accounts and now have a, you know a ton of credits and easily just credit wipe them and ban those accounts. So what they did was they took to the GTNs and just cleared out the GTN. So they bought up all the hyper crates, all the really rare items like you know command thrones and stuff, um, all the platinum items. And that's also what you're seeing in the background of this video where I was showing you guys on my main uh, juggernaut how he was selling like hyper crates for 80, 90 million credits. And yeah, these exporters were just going and buying up all these on the GTN. And while you might think it's huge that I'm selling a hyper crate for 90 million credits, I had reports of people who said they sold it for 250, 300 million credits. Because these exporters didn't care. It's, you know, they made that in like a few seconds. So they just went and just bought up anything they possibly could on the GTN. And so yeah, things were selling you know, for insane amounts of credits. I was selling Command Thrones for like 70 million credits. You see this in this video as well. I was selling Platinum items for like 150, 200 million credits. And really, I was only selling these items for a very short, for a very short time period, like um, for a few hours. Like they were already up there before I had even really known what was going on. And then I started seeing, oh my gosh, like I'm getting sales every second or something because the exporters were just buying up all of the rare items. So it was pretty insane. I think over the entire course of a few hours, I made 2.6 billion credits around that much. So it, it really was um, crazy. And I know other people made upwards of six, seven, eight billion credits by selling, you know, their rare items. Um, so in case you're wondering why the exploiters were doing this, it's just kind of a way of laundering their money. As I said, you don't want to sit on these, these many credits, it's easy to track. So what they did was they bought up all the rare items and then they kind of spread it out. So either they you know, sent them to the main account or they had friends kind of take them and then send it to guilds maybe. So they're trying to make it very hard to track exactly where those items came from. Once again, it's easy to track credits. If someone sends 100 billion credits, Bioware can kind of know that, okay, maybe that's an exploit. But um, if you're sending items, you know, tons of people deal with these, uh, with these high quality quality rare items in volume. I do, I know a lot of other rich people do. Guilds definitely do that as well. So my fingers are crossed. I'm hoping that these exporters will be caught, that Bioware takes the, the necessary measures to track them. I'm just also a little bit doubtful of that because apparently they don't. A lot of exporters do get away with what they do, but this exploit was not like any other exploit. It really was economy breaking. We've never really seen the GTN get cleared out that quickly. We've never really seen people make billions upon billions of credits. And um, the downside is obviously that this is the primary cause of inflation. This is exactly what the problem is when billions of credits are introduced for absolutely no reason 
And now everyone's credit value has kind of decreased. People who really spend a lot of time to farm their whatever 30, 40, 50 million credits that they now have on their characters is now worth less because billions of credits have been introduced. And if you go and look at the GTN right now, things do look normal. Um, you know, hyper crates are back down to 30, 40 million credits. A lot of the rare items are kind of back down as well. So, you know, things might look normal, but don't forget that billions of credits have been introduced. Um, you know, just normal people just by selling their GTN items have earned billions upon billions of credits and the downside is now those people have a lot more purchasing power. So if a certain really rare item gets introduced into the game in a new cartel pack or something, uh, sellers can now sell them for a lot higher than they normally would because now a lot more people would be able to afford the higher prices. And I really wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing some of that in the near future. I do think the GTN has been, has, you know, is going to change pretty tremendously. And if these amount of credits are allowed to stay in the game, just kind of been, having been randomly generated, nothing, can, nothing good can really come out of that. So I'm hoping that something happens and I'm hoping that it's not just kind of ignored by Bioware. So that's kind of what the exploit was and what happened on the GTN and why, you know, exploiters got rich and also why some normal people just got rich by selling their items. And this is also one of the things I talked about in an earlier video, which is why you should always protect yourselves against inflation. And the way you do that is do not sit on large amounts of credits. I was sitting on credit cap, which is like 4.3 billion credits for the longest time, which wasn't a smart thing. And so I went, what I ended up doing was I invested in hyper crates and now I kind of have cargo base full of hyper crates. And the reason is because I would rather have my credit, you know, stored in hyper crates, which I can always sell for higher prices if, if things like what, what the expo just happened if inflation gets too high it's much better to have items now and store it in the value of items rather than sitting on credits that will slowly and slowly become devalued as inflation gets higher. So as I mentioned, if someone was sitting on 50 million credits, that 50 million credits is worth less now because of the inflation. But if you store it in the value of hyper crates, you can always sell those hyper crates for whatever the new inflated value is. So as you guys can see in you know, my successful items I'm showing here, you know, Command Throne sold for like 70 million credits. I sold the Defined Vented Saber for 150 mil, Senya's Lightsaber for something close to 150 mil as well. I was actually finally able to sell the Dipl uh, Diplomat's Meditation Hover Chair, which I've been trying to sell for like 150 million credits just for fun to see if anyone actually buys it. And this time around, I'm pretty sure an exploiter went ahead and bought it for like 125 million credits. Now, one of the reasons I actually held off from making this video as well was I wanted to see Bioware's response to this and no dev has even responded or acknowledged uh, the exploit and what has happened to the economy. It seems to be largely ignored. Once again, I'm hoping that's not the case, but it really does seem like it's going that way. Once again, we'll have to wait in the next few weeks or months or so to see exactly what happens on the GTN. Uh, but this is really the cause of inflation. This is what has caused inflation in the past. This is the reason why hypercrates now cost 30 to 40 million credits as opposed to, you know, 10 to 15 million credits what they were selling for a year ago and even before that it was as low as four five to ten million credits so this is kind of the reason it keeps going up and up and up let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Obviously, I think a lot of you guys are unhappy and the exploiters definitely have to take on a lot of the blame for this. However, it's also Bioware and EA's fault for letting these groundbreaking bugs kind of hit the game and then not dealing with it as quick as possible. I think the best solution would have been right when they realized that this is a huge thing, uh, just do a rollback. It was going to piss off a lot of people, but at least the problem would be dealt with and the economy wouldn't suffer tremendously. Now, obviously, a rollback's not an option. And sure, you can try to ban uh, these, these uh, fake accounts. You definitely will be able to but these are fake accounts i don't think the exploiters care if they get banned and also you can do credit sweeps but most of these exploiters don't have the value in credits anymore they just went and bought everything off the gtn so now they're sitting on these items which they have probably laundered pretty effectively it's not hard you get some guildmates together you trade it to them you send it by mail you put it up for like one credit on the gtn and have your friend buy it off the gtn like it's very easy to do this and it's very difficult to track i doubt there's people at bioware who are going to sit down look at the scripts and track exactly what has happened so my fear is that the exporters did definitely get away with this and although I blame them I also blame Bauer and EA for not having acted really quickly on this and for just letting their economy go to shit Anyways, once again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section Let me know some of the wackiest things you guys saw during this time period It really was pretty crazy Maybe some of the biggest sales you've had and also for some of you guys who had really insane sales like 300 400 million credits I'd love to see it, but I can't always take your word for it So maybe show me a screenshot if you took a screenshot or something like that I'd love to see you know some of the reports on some of the things you guys experienced but for me, it wasn't too crazy. You might think earning 2.6 billion credits is pretty insane, and it was, but it's not as insane as some of the reports I've been getting of people saying they sold an item for like 500 million credits and stuff. So anyways, I'd love to see that, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, although it's not the most enjoyable topic to talk about, and I'll see you guys in the next one.